And we're back with breaking news, 7 degrees north. Please turn on your subscription notification and follow and share. Thousands of migrants given rations at Fourth World Country Camp in Texas. More on illegal immigrants. Thousands of illegal immigrants at a squad makeshift camp in Del Rio, Texas, are being provided rations by U.S. volunteers who have described the scenes on the ground as fourth world country. Images emerged Tuesday as hundreds of migrants forming lines inside the camp at the Del Rio International Bridge as the Biden administration faces an unprecedented crisis at the U.S.-Mexico border. The migrants, mostly from Haiti, appear to be receiving items from a tent inside the camp, according to aerial images of the scene. Volunteers from Del Rio churches and humanitarian groups say they have been providing food, water, and diapers to migrants in fears of a shortage of supplies. It looks like a third world country, maybe even a fourth world country if there is one, Sean Young, president of Valverde Board Humanitarian Coalition, told Matt Mayberry, pastor of the city church Del Rio, added that they have provided much needed items like water, juice, snacks, sandwiches, baby foods, and diapers to illegal immigrants and U.S. Border Patrol agents. More than 14,000 people have been camping out in squalid conditions under the Del Rio International Bridge since last week, waiting to be processed after streaming across the U.S. border via the Rio Grande. Images emerged Sunday of Border Patrol agents on horseback trying to stop illegal immigrants from entering the country as the U.S. set up deportation flights in a bid to control the growing crisis. 400 Border Patrol agents are also being sent to Del Rio to help restore order. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas said about 6,000 Haitian illegal immigrants had been removed from the camp and more were expected to leave on four flights on Tuesday. We are moving more migrants very quickly to other processing centers so that we can ensure their security and safety and security and safety of the community, Mayorkas told CNN. We are repatriating individuals. We expect to see dramatic change in the next 48 to 96 hours. Mayorkas said he was horrified by images of agents on horseback, but stopped short of calling the border situation a crisis. He also denied that agents used whips to prevent Haitian immigrants from crossing the Rio Grande to reach the encampment.